With the continents gathering into a new Pangaea in 200 million years, they have formed a kind of new supercontinent, which has separated two oceans. One is immense and deep, housing the largest creatures of all time, while the other is an inland sea, sometimes referred to as the Rainbow Ocean, harboring a highly colorful fauna. This small ocean is shallow, with a central depth not exceeding 1800 meters it remains warm throughout the year and hosts a wide variety of animals. Among them is a highly colorful jellyfish. Jellyfish are ancient creatures in the history of the animal kingdom and have always been prolific. However, their way of life has changed very little over the millions of years they have traversed. This species has small tentacles above its gelatinous dome, it can electrocute its prey with them before swallowing them. The clamofish is a descendant of bivalves that originally did not move. With the arrival of new predators or prey, some species began to develop a sort of fin with what was originally a foot at the base. They have had vision for a long time, but its acuity has improved with movement. They are slow, but being able to move enables them to catch larger prey. To protect themselves, they are able to retreat completely into their shells, which causes them to sink directly to the bottom of the water. At the beginning of their development, these animals are sessile, their attachment to their rock is very weak and they are carried away by currents during the first storms of winter. The heloctopus is an octopus that moves by spinning itself at high speed, with claws at the end of each tentacle. These claws are used to catch prey but also engage in mating battles between males. The female is much larger, and males compete for reproduction, but the fight is rarely fatal for the loser. Brooding the eggs is a trial for the female, which is why she devours the male directly after fertilization to ensure she has enough energy. To catch prey, these animals function as if their entire body were a large clawed hand. Once captured in the tentacles, the prey has no chance of escape. The sohag is a small amphibious squid that inhabits the beaches of the inland ocean, feeding on small invertebrates hiding in the sand. With its tentacles placed on the ground, it senses the vibrations made by these small organisms, allowing it to detect the precise location of its prey. It then digs to unearth its bounty. These animals live according to the tides because their prey varies with the high and low tides. During the day, they return to the water to escape the heat of the sun, but at night, they roam the beach in groups of several dozen individuals. They are vulnerable animals with no means of defense, their eyes always scanning the surroundings for any predators and quickly heading towards the ocean at the slightest sign of attack. Here's one of the most bewildering octopuses of all time. Its eight tentacles have lost their suckers and now resemble fins, while its powerful beak is at the end of a very long neck measuring over 9 meters long. The animal no longer has eyes, its body is adapted for precise swimming, requiring complex maneuvers rather than speed. It preys on animals burrowed in the sandy bottoms of shallow continental waters. Paraloctopes are rather solitary and quite rare, their population is very scattered, with many living in the deepest areas of the inner ocean, in pelagic zones where light does not penetrate, explaining the loss of their eyes. Its massive body is situated far from the beak to avoid alarming its prey and to approach them by surprise. Its body is equipped with sensory organs, allowing it to sense all the vibrations of the water around it. The exact origin of the Septicana is not well known. They possess, as the name of their genus indicates, seven feet, which does not correspond to any known morphology among cephalopods. These mollusks seem to be quite intelligent and highly social. They have a large mantle that surrounds their internal organs, which can coil or uncoil and become pointed, at its apex resides the animal's sexual organ. They are hermaphrodites, engaging in fencing matches where each points their sexual organ at the other, either wants to be fertilized as it results in the death of the animal. They do not lay eggs, instead, offspring hatch inside the parent and consume it from within to exit its body. They have a vocal organ that allows them to call out to conspecifics and appear to communicate via ultrasound.
Maricaris is one of the most numerous and prolific species in the inland ocean. They are small in size but slightly larger than the animals that make up zooplankton. They are found in coral reefs and near the water surface towards the center of the water body. These animals are distant descendants of certain shrimp species, but their appearance is reminiscent of the anomalocarids of the Cambrian period. They have two organs at the front of their bodies that allow them to manipulate and bring small organisms to their mouths located under their heads for feeding. They form the foundation of the food chain in these ecosystems. Their primary survival strategy is to lay millions of eggs several times a year. Without predators, this species would become truly invasive. The thick calabass is a species of crab with a very thick and sturdy carapace, providing ideal protection against larger predators. They are of substantial size, with some individuals exceeding 1 meter in length. They are bright red in color and have large claws that they use to catch various types of prey and to crush shells and carapaces, protecting the animals they want to eat. The only time they are vulnerable is during molting. The molting process can take several hours, and it is very difficult for them to extract themselves from their huge carapace. Additionally, it takes over a week for the new exoskeleton to thicken sufficiently to provide them with adequate protection. During this period, they hide in reefs, but the larger they are, the more challenging it is for them to find hiding spots to stay safe. The sea salad crab is a small crustacean primarily found amidst algae or seagrass, where the vegetation serves as both its food source and a means of hiding from predators. They are quite vulnerable, as their carapace is very thin. Thus, they have developed another means to enhance their chances of escaping predators, they can change color according to their environment. Their carapace is equipped with photoreceptors that reflect the colors surrounding them, rendering the crab invisible. They can become visible again when approaching their conspecifics. Small and discreet, they are very challenging to observe in the moving algae. The sniper shrimp has a terrifying hunting technique, it pulverizes its prey from a distance. It possesses a sound-producing organ that emits very loud sounds. The sound is directed by the tube towards its prey, and the waves can shatter shells, pulverizing the flesh into pieces. These small crustaceans lack teeth or jaws, they cannot bite off large chunks, so their body explosion technique helps them consume small pieces by sucking them in with their tube. They are slow but feared animals, to defend themselves, they do not hesitate to use their tube against larger animals, which can damage their internal organs. This animal has virtually no predators. The arc starfish is one of the largest sea stars of all time, with its body forming a sort of dome where many small fish and crustaceans like to take refuge. The sea star has long filaments under its body that it lets float in the water, these filaments are used to capture passing plankton. The animal can move slowly if there isn't enough food in the area where it is staying. The small animals hiding among its arms clean it by eating the small organisms that parasitize the sea star. Its skin is armored, making it difficult for most animals to attack, but if one of its arms is torn off, it can regrow in a few months. Sharks, which have inhabited the oceans for almost 600 million years now, are declining at this time, and the few species that remain no longer resemble the typical idea of them. The jawless shark is a descendant of the strange sharks that inhabited deserts 100 million years ago, they have finally returned to the marine environment. They still breathe air and therefore must surface to breathe, but have maintained a diet based on microorganisms filtered from the sand. They have lost their jaws and simply suck in the sandy bottom of the inner ocean, with their bodies sorting what is edible from what is not. Their bodies are armored, and they superficially resemble the jawless fish from the early Paleozoic era. Seahorses will give birth to many species in the future, each very different from the others, but the microcamp is the smallest species, likely the smallest bony fish of all time. It is translucent, 
revealing its internal circulatory system, making it completely invisible among the corals where it spends most of its time. This tiny creature feeds on the polyps around it, swims very slowly, and forms monogamous pairs that they maintain for life. They are venomous and form a sort of symbiosis with the corals they inhabit, they deter certain animals that fear their venom, thus protecting the coral. In return, the microcamp is sheltered from currents by remaining among the branches of the sessile organism. The night seahorse has a closer resemblance to the seahorses of the Holocene, but with larger fins and small horns on its head. They are territorial animals, and their courtship displays are very impressive. Males perform spectacular acrobatics, leaping several meters above the water's surface. Upon landing, they must surprise their rivals and stun them with their horns. Once the rival is ousted, the courtship isn't over, they must then perform a dance, circling the female and spreading their fins to appear larger. Jumping out of the water and diving back in swiftly is also a technique these fish use to escape predators when they are too far from the reef. They feed on corals, sponges, or anemones. The giant sea dragon is the largest creature in the inner ocean, with some individuals reaching over 9 meters in length. It's also the biggest predator in this small ocean, preying on any animals it encounters. Originating from seahorses with microscopic teeth at the end of a tubular snout, it has evolved a powerful jaw with four large, sharp teeth. These immense creatures cannot navigate the intricate maze of coral reefs, instead, they hover above to hunt for unsuspecting prey. However, they can hide among the largest coral formations that grow further out into the open sea. Among themselves, they display aggressive behavior, tolerating each other only during the breeding season when they form monogamous pairs that last until the eggs hatch. Once hatched, the offspring must fend for themselves, but even at birth, they already measure 50 centimeters in length. Carp are still part of the landscape, although there are not many species left, and all have become marine fish. The largest among them is the gun carp. This species can suck in water and then shoot it out with tremendous force through tubes located on its skull. With this morphology, it can both defend against predators and incapacitate prey. It is a slow swimming fish, making it challenging to catch prey that is slightly faster. These fish have excellent vision and can see more colors than most other animals in their environment. This adaptation allows them to perfectly aim at their prey and detect them well before they are spotted, despite their large size. The flying longa snake is a small marine snake, barely reaching one meter in length for the largest individuals. They have a rather unique swimming technique among vertebrates, with a double row of scales elongated along their back to form fins that aid the animal in undulating forward. These scales do not make them fast swimmers but are ideal for maneuvering through reefs. This animal feeds on small organisms, lacking teeth, and swallows its prey whole without chewing. To swim faster when moving outside of the reefs, these snakes fold their long scales onto themselves and swim by undulating their bodies, much like the sea snakes of the Holocene. There are still many species of sea snakes in these future oceans, but the species in the inner ocean are generally smaller. The mantique is a fairly common reptile in these waters, equipped with small venomous hooks that paralyze its prey to prevent them from struggling in its mouth. It is a somewhat fragile animal, its ribs have expanded laterally to become lateral fins that undulate along the length of its body to swim. With these two membranes, the snake is quite fast and can even glide out of the water for several tens of meters to surprise prey or escape predators. They do not venture too far into the reefs and prefer to stay in more open spaces, their bluish coloration makes them less visible, 